Good afternoon, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed the lunch. I will try my best to help you digest with uh, this lightning talk. Uh, today, we are going to talk about the CloudFront Hosting Toolkit. Uh, it's an open source tool that, uh, well, that was created by our team. And the intention is to help developers to host static front ends in a very simple and easy way on AWS while retaining full control on the underlying infrastructure. My name is Ashraf Souk. I am uh, part of the Solutions Architect family since seven years at AWS. So let's get started. So if you want to host a static front end on AWS, the most simple and most common approach is to use AWS Amplify Hosting. Basically, you just need to connect your GitHub to uh, uh, basically to Amplify. And Amplify is a managed service that will take care of everything for you. Whenever you make a commit or a change to your project, basically, it will automatically detect the change and then build the new version of your website and then publish it, right? Uh, so, uh, and it is built using, uh, it is built using different, uh, different dimensions. So using the storage that is used, the data transfer out, uh, and the build time. And I personally use it for my own website. Now, uh, there are scenarios where you might want to customize the underlying infrastructure. And this is not something that is possible with a managed service like uh, Amplify Hosting. Okay? So for example, you might want to customize the content delivery. You want, uh, let's say, to serve your static frontend and your APIs on the same domain name. Or you maybe want to kind of localize your website using some edge function. Maybe you want to customize the hosting itself, uh, the encryption of the S3 buckets, or you want to implement multi-region origins. Or you want to customize the deployment pipeline itself by implementing some A-B testing, right? And so when you, when you need that, when you need to do that, uh, you have to start and build everything from scratch. And this is not simple, OK? So now you need to learn about CloudFront. You need to learn about S3. You need to learn about a lot of uh, AWS components. And then you need to learn about how to apply the best practices for each of those components. And you need to think how I will implement uh, you know, features like deploying atomically and in an instant way. And at the end, you have to learn CDK and CloudFormation to deploy this infrastructure. And this is the, uh, like the specific challenge that the CloudFront hosting tool, the toolkit uh, is trying to solve. So we want, uh, like this tool basically, deploys the necessary underlying infrastructure for hosting your static frontends in your AWS accounts, so you have full control over them, and you can go customize them whenever you want. But in the same time, you can have like a very simple uh, uh, like developer experience, right? You use a CLI to simply, without much prior AWS knowledge, you connect your GitHub uh, uh, project, and within a few minutes, you have your website uh, basically deployed on, on AWS, okay? And, uh, oops. sorry about that. So I want to zoom a little bit on, uh, on some of the complexity, like uh, let's relate it to cloud, setting up CloudFront and, uh, and S3. So uh, first you need basically to configure TLS certificate in North Virginia. Then you need to create the S3 bucket, apply the best practices. Then you need to create policies for CloudFront, you know, to take care of what, what is the cache policy, what are the security headers that you want to send to users, and, uh, and so on. And then you need to create something called origin access control to make sure uh, the requests uh, go going to S3 are exclusively going through CloudFront. And then you create the CloudFront distribution, and then you create, like you add the permissions to the S3 bucket to allow CloudFront to kind of fetch the content. Uh, from the bucket. You need to figure out also how to add the index.html and things like that. And finally, change the DNS records. So a lot of steps for you to do. Uh, so this is what I was uh, mentioning before, like the CloudFront Hosting Toolkit. It does all of that for you in, uh, behind, uh, behind the scenes, basically. Uh, you have the CLI to deploy it in a very simple way in a few minutes. And it gives you some uh, features like uh, integration with uh, GitHub, 
uh, you, you'll be doing the atomic instant deploys. It will apply all of the best practices and um, you can use your own custom domain for, for the website. Let's zoom a little bit on the CLI experience. How does it look like? So first you need to deploy, like uh, install the NPM package, right? And then once you clone uh, your repo locally on the machine, you navigate to that folder and you run the init command. And the init command will uh, let the, the toolkit basically discover your, um, uh, your project. What is the framework that is used? What is the uh, GitHub uh, project like uh, uh, link, right? And then afterwards, you would do a, uh, you would like a run the deploy the uh, command, which will actually deploy the infrastructure. So the hosting infrastructure and the uh, deployment pipelines. It takes a few minutes. And during this setup, you will be asked to validate the connection to your GitHub repository. So I will uh, share with you a little bit uh, the architecture and how it works behind the scenes. So for the deployment pipeline, it is orchestrated using code pipeline, uh, AWS service. Uh, AWS code build to build the artifacts of the, the website and step function to orchestrate the, uh, the change to the new version every time you kind of uh, create um, uh, a new version. You make a change to your, to your repo. Okay, so every time there's a new version, the build is uploaded uh, to a new folder in S3 bucket, and uh, then there is a, uh, uh, a change uh, URI command that is, uh, that is sent to CloudFront to start pointing to the new version, and your users will uh, instantly start seeing the new version, basically. Uh, it is triggered automatically by changes in GitHub, but if you would like to customize the deployment, use your own uh, CI-CD pipeline, then in this case, you can just drop the artifacts of your website on an S3 bucket, and it will also trigger this, uh, this pipeline. For the hosting infrastructure, it's very simple. It's an S3 bucket uh, where we drop uh, the artifacts of every uh, build and a dedicated folder and we serve it uh, through uh, Amazon CloudFront. So, as I mentioned, every time we have like a new version, it has a dedicated folder that is uploaded to CloudFront. And then when we want to change the URI, basically we update uh, the state and the key value store that is associated with CloudFront. So key value store is a globally distributed uh, key value store that sits in the uh, CloudFront edge locations. And it allows the CloudFront function, which is like a, a logic that is running also on the edge location to customize the way CloudFront interacts with the request, to go and say, say okay, what's the latest version of the, the website that I need to, uh, to use? Okay, based on that, I will rewrite the URL to the folder, the right folder on the S3 bucket. So a quick word about Amazon CloudFront. Uh, it's the content delivery of AWS. Uh, it's a service that we recommend for all our customers to use in their web application, HTTP-based workloads. Uh, it's a foundational building block for any well-architected web applications. This gives you better reliability, performance, security, and better egress uh, cost, like data, data transfer out costs from, uh, from, from AWS. Uh, it's a globally uh, distributed service with around 700 points of presence across the world. All right, so let's see the, the request flow in uh, uh, like when the user interacts with, with the website. So first, let's say the, the user is download, like is navigating to the About page. We make the GET request to CloudFront. It is received by an edge location. A function is executed, a CloudFront function executed in the edge location, which fetches from the key value store, hey, what's the current build ID that I should be using, okay? And this is what we're storing uh, in, in, this, in this key value store. Then we get this build ID, and based on that, we rewrite the URL to the folder in S3 that has the build ID. And if it's for the first time, it's a cache miss, we go to, uh, to, to the S3 bucket. Of course, this cache ID is, is made part of the cache key, so we make sure when we make those changes, basically we go fetch uh, the new content from S3 and not from CloudFront Cache. So now, uh, let's say we have, you know, you, you kind of made a change to your uh, website. Okay, so there's a new version that is available. It will trigger the pipeline, right? So the developer will push 
uh, a, uh, a commit, uh, it will trigger the pipeline. Uh, in the pipeline, we'll be fetching the new code from uh, GitHub. We will be building the new artifact of the website. And then we will upload the website to the new folder in Amazon, like in, uh, in S3, right? And we'll start this workflow using uh, step functions to update the, uh, the working uh, version ID in, uh, in the key value store of CloudFront. So this way, next time when the user comes to the website, the same thing will happen, right? So uh, basically, we will get uh, the request by the edge location. We will execute the function, get the last build ID. And then this time, we will point to the new build ID, to the folder uh, of the new build ID. And the users are starting to get the new version right away. OK? So uh, if you are interested in uh, you know, learning more about the CloudFront hosting toolkit, uh, I'm sharing with you the, the documentation where you know, it kind of uh, summarizes what I uh, shared with you, but also how to use it. Uh, note that I explained the CLI workflow, uh, like the CLI user experience. But if you are an advanced developer and you would like to use the CloudFront hosting toolkit in your CDK project, it's also available as an L3 CDK construct. OK? And if you are interested in contributing to the project, yes, please uh, uh, help us maintain it and add features uh, to it. We have a lot of ideas, and we like uh, volunteers in it. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your attention. If you are interested in uh, learning more about similar topics, about CloudFront, about edge security, I do post a lot of uh, educational material on LinkedIn, so feel free to, uh, to follow me on LinkedIn. I will stop here and uh, you know, give you the, the opportunity to ask any question that you have about this project.